friend. Get these filthy beats out of here. Alison Arngram is best known for her role as Nellie Olson, the nemesis of Laura Ingalls on the beloved show Little House on the Prairie. Despite their on-screen rivalry, Arngram and Melissa Gilbert, who played Laura, developed a close friendship off-screen. This introduction offers a glimpse into the unexpected bond between two actors who brought to life characters that were far from friends on the popular television series. He doesn't have a lunch bucket. Besides, it's finished. Little House on the Prairie was a TV series that aired from 1974 to 1983, based on Laura Ingalls Wilder's book series that depicted her life on a farm. The show was a beloved part of many childhoods and remains a popular classic today. The series followed the Ingalls family, led by patriarch Charles Ingalls, played by Michael Landon. Landon was already a well-known actor and director, having starred in several popular TV shows before Little House on the Prairie. As Charles and Gulls, he portrayed a hardworking and loving father who moved his family from place to place in search of a better life. Melissa Gilbert played Laura Ingalls, the second oldest of the Ingalls daughters. Gilbert was just 10 years old when she was cast in the role, and she would grow up on the show, becoming a household name and a beloved figure to fans of the series. Little House on the Prairie was set in the late 1800s and depicted the challenges and joys of frontier life. The show tackled many issues that were relevant to its time, including poverty, discrimination, and the role of women in society. Despite these heavy themes, the show remained optimistic and uplifting, emphasizing the importance of family, community, and hard work. The series was filmed in California, but the production team went to great lengths to create an authentic and believable depiction of life on the prairie. They built a replica of the Ingalls homestead, complete with a working farm and livestock and dress the cast in period-appropriate clothing. Little House on the Prairie was a critical and commercial success, running for nine seasons and producing over 200 episodes. The show's popularity endured long after it went off the air, and it has been syndicated and released on DVD in numerous countries around the world. In addition to its entertainment value, Little House on the Prairie has also been recognized for its educational and cultural significance. The show has been used in classrooms to teach history and literature, and it has inspired a generation of fans to learn more about the time period and the real life in Gaul's family. Overall, Little House on the Prairie remains a beloved and enduring part of American television history. Its depiction of frontier life, family values, and the human spirit continues to resonate with audiences today, making it a true classic of the small screen. It was nice to see you, Reverend. Uh, I think we can fill in this gully here easy enough. Allison Arngram and Melissa Gilbert, who played rivals Nellie Olson and Laura Engels on the 1974 TV series Little House on the Prairie, developed a long-lasting friendship off-screen that has endured for decades. Despite their characters' constant conflict, Arngram and Gilbert formed a close bond, surprising fans who assumed they disliked each other based on their on-screen personas. The two actresses would have slumber parties and hang out together in public, with Arngram often acting as a protector for Gilbert. This friendship continued even after the show ended, and they remained close over the years. In recent interviews, Arngram and Gilbert have laughed off misconceptions about their relationship, emphasizing that their off-screen friendship was genuine and enduring. They have expressed surprise at how many fans still believe that they truly disliked each other given their public displays of affection and camaraderie over the years. Despite their characters' animosity, Arngram and Gilbert's friendship serves as a testament to the complex and often unexpected relationships that can form between actors, even when they are portraying adversaries on screen. Their enduring bond is a reminder that appearances can be deceiving in, and that true friendship can transcend the boundaries of fiction and reality. You were one of them, weren't you? I didn't see anything honest. Do you swear on you? Allison Arngram, known for her role as Nellie Olson in Little House on the Prairie, made the decision to leave the show after seven seasons. This departure was driven by her growing dissatisfaction with the diminishing significance of her character and the compensation she received. Melissa Gilbert, who played Laura Ingalls on the show, showed understanding and support for Allison's decision even sending her a light-hearted gift wrapped in newspaper wanted ads to commemorate her departure from the series. Uh -huh. 
After her time on Little House on the Prairie, Alison Arndrum, who played the character Nellie Olson, wrote a memoir about her experiences on the show. This memoir led to a one-woman show where she shared stories about her time on the set and her character's impact on fans. Arngram remains close friends with her former co-star Melissa Gilbert, who played Laura Ingalls Wilder and fondly recalls her time on the show. During her time on Little House on the Prairie, Arngram developed a close friendship with Steve Tracy, who played her on-screen love interest Percival Dalton. Despite Tracy's homosexuality, they remained close friends until his tragic death from AIDS in the 1980s. Arngram was one of the few people who knew about Tracy's sexuality, and she has spoken publicly about how she supported him during his struggle with the disease. Arngram's friendship with Tracy was a significant one, and she has spoken about how his death affected her. She has also been an advocate for AIDS awareness and has worked to educate people about the disease. Arngram's time on Little House on the Prairie had a profound impact on her life, both personally and professionally, and her friendship with Tracy is just one example of the lasting connections she made during her time on the show. Back, hoping Nathan would work with his son, but he just felt it was a waste of time. The 1974 TV series Little House on the Prairie featured a talented cast, including Steve Tracy, who played Percival Dalton. Tracy's life took a tragic turn in 1986 when he passed away due to complications from AIDS. His battle with the illness was a difficult one, and his friend Allison Arngram, who played Nellie Olson, has often spoken about their friendship and the impact of his passing. Arngram has highlighted the importance of their bond, which remained strong despite Tracy's illness. Their friendship was a stark contrast to the rivalry between their characters on the show, which was a surprise to many fans. Another enduring friendship that emerged from the series was between Arngram and Melissa Gilbert, who played Laura Ingalls Wilder. Despite their characters' frequent clashes, Arngram and Gilbert formed a close bond that has lasted for decades. The friendship between Arngram and Gilbert, as well as the one between Arngram and Tracy, show that the relationships between the cast members of Little House on the Prairie extended beyond the boundaries of the show. The impact of these friendships has resonated with fans and serves as a reminder of the importance of strong bonds, even in the face of adversity. I believe in pleasing the eye as well as the palate. <laughs> uh, these jokes. The TV series Little House on the Prairie has maintained its charm and appeal since it first aired. Many viewers, including myself, grew up watching the show and reading the books. Despite some negative comments from others, I find the show's sappy morals endearing. It's not overly focused on religion, but rather on simple, wholesome values. In my childhood, my friends, and I even dedicated a week each month to Little House on the Prairie, playfully adopting the names of the characters for our school assignments. My teacher supported our fun, adding to the fond memories I have of the series. Though the series took some liberties from the original books, it preserved the moral fiber that made the story special. Contrary to some beliefs, I never felt that Michael Landon was the sole focus of the show. Loring Gall, for instance, played a significant role, and the series often allowed lead actors to step back to give more screen time to minor characters. This ensemble approach is one of the reasons why the show remains a timeless favorite, one I plan to introduce to my children. Regarding some specifics, it's important to note that the character Adam Kendall, Mary's husband, was blinded as a child due to a traumatic accident. This was clearly mentioned in the two-part episode to see the light where he regained his eyesight following another accident in adulthood. This kind of detail shows the depth and thought put into the series, even though occasional trivia errors can be spotted. Overall, Little House on the Prairie is filled with lessons and nostalgic moments that continue to teach and reteach valuable life lessons through its well-crafted episodes. She does seem friendly. Oh, she is here. Say hello to Nels. Oh, look at that. Look, there he, I mean, she just... The casting process for Little House on the Prairie in 1974 was a thoughtful and detailed endeavor aimed at finding the right actors to bring the Ingalls family and their community to life. Michael Landon, who starred in and produced the show, played a significant role in the casting process. Melissa Gilbert, who was only nine years old at the time, was chosen for the part of Laura Ingalls after a series of auditions. Her natural talent and genuine warmth captured the hearts of the casting directors and Michael Landon. Michael Landon himself took on the role of Charles Ingalls, the father of the Ingalls family. 
Landon was already well known for his work on Bonanza, and his casting brought a sense of familiarity and trust to the show. Karen Grassel, who had previously worked with Landon on a guest appearance on Bonanza, was cast as Caroline Ingalls, the mother of the family. Grassel's chemistry with Landon was undeniable, and she brought a sense of warmth and nurturing to the role. The role of Mary Ingalls, Laura's older sister, went to Melissa Sue Anderson. Anderson's audition showcased her ability to convey the character's intelligence and sensitivity, making her the perfect choice for the part. For the role of the mischievous and lovable youngest brother, Albert, the producers held a nationwide search. Matthew Labiordo, who was just 12 years old at the time, won the part after a series of auditions and callbacks. The casting of the supporting characters was equally important. Victor French, who had worked with Landon on several projects, was cast as Isaiah Edwards, a close friend of the Ingalls family. French's chemistry with Landon and the rest of the cast was instant, and he became a beloved and enduring presence on the show. In conclusion, the casting process for Little House on the Prairie was a careful and deliberate one, aimed at finding the right actors to bring the Ingalls family and their community to life. Through a series of auditions, chemistry tests, and pivotal moments, each key actor was chosen for their role, creating a cast that would become a beloved and enduring part of television history. Michael Landon, the director of Little House on the Prairie, brought Lorraine Gall's wilder stories to life with a warm, family-centered approach. He aimed to create a show that conveyed moral values and showcased the beauty of rural life. Landon's creative influences included classic films and television shows that emphasized strong family bonds. His directing style was hands-on, collaborating closely with the cast and crew. Landon often worked with the writers to develop scripts and ensured that each episode reflected the show's heartfelt tone. He created a positive working environment, which helped the actors deliver authentic and engaging performances. Landon's vision for Little House on the Prairie was to present a wholesome depiction of frontier life. He achieved this by focusing on the characters' emotional journeys and the intimate moments they shared. Landon's attention to detail and commitment to storytelling etched the series into the annals of television history. Collaboration was key to Landon's success. He worked closely with the cast, encouraging them to contribute their ideas and insights. Landon's collaborative spirit extended to the crew as well, ensuring that each department felt valued and integral to the production. In summary, Michael Landon's directorial vision for Little House on the Prairie was centered on family, moral values, and the beauty of rural life. His approach was characterized by close collaboration with the cast and crew, and his commitment to storytelling left an indelible mark on television history. And that we regard every subject, including department. The Little House on the Prairie TV series, set in the late 1970s and when in the 80s, was filmed primarily in Simi Valley, California, where a replica of the Walnut Grove town was Billy Tennant, the production design team, led by John Ward, meticulously researched and created detailed sets to reflect the period's authenticity. They used authentic materials and construction techniques to build the homes, barns, and other structures. The production faced logistical challenges, such as recreating the vast prairie landscape in California. The team saw this by filming on large, rural ranch properties and using visual effects like matte paintings to enhance the backgrounds. They also had to manage the weather as the show was filmed outdoors and sometimes had to adjust the shooting schedule due to unpredictable rain or heat. One innovative technique employed during production was the use of a multi-camera setup. This allowed for more efficient filming and enabled the crew to capture different angles simultaneously. Additionally, the production utilized a video assist system which allowed the director and crew to review footage immediately after filming facilitating quicker decision-making and adjustments. The series also made use of trained animals, such as horses, cows, and chickens, to add to the authenticity of the farm setting. The animal trainers worked closely with the cast and crew to ensure the safety and well-being of the animals during filming. In summary, the production of Little House on the Prairie required careful planning, research, and innovative techniques to create an authentic and engaging portrayal of life on the American frontier. The team's dedication to detail 
and efficiency help bring the beloved story to life for television audiences. The music in Little House on the Prairie plays a crucial role in conveying the narrative and emotional tone of the 1974 TV series. The score was primarily composed by David Rose, who successfully created pieces that complemented the show's heartwarming and family-oriented storylines. Rose's music is known for its simplicity and emotional depth, which perfectly mirrors the struggles and joys of the Ingalls family. He used a variety of instruments, including piano, strings, and woodwinds, to create a sound that is both nostalgic and uplifting. The main title theme, with its gentle melody and rural imagery, sets the stage for the series and instantly transports the viewer to the world of the Little House on the Prairie. In addition to the score, the show also features a soundtrack of period-appropriate songs and hymns. These pieces further enhance the historical authenticity of the series and provide a rich cultural context for the story. Composer Gerald Fried, who also contributed to the show's music, spoke about the importance of creating a score that supports the narrative. He noted that the music should never overpower the dialogue or action, but instead should subtly enhance the emotional impact of the scene. Musicians involved in the production of the show's music also spoke about the challenges of creating a score that is both historically accurate and emotionally resonant. They use a combination of traditional and modern techniques to achieve the desired sound, with a focus on creating a score that is both timeless and memorable. Overall, the music in Little House on the Prairie is a key component of the show's enduring appeal. It provides a rich emotional backdrop to the story and helps to transport the viewer to a simpler time and place. The composers and musicians involved in the production of the show's music have created a legacy that continues to captivate audiences today. Well, on the other side of the hill, he asked me if he could stay on the property for two or three days, and I told him he was most welcome. One of the most iconic scenes in Little House on the Prairie is the pilot episode's opening, where Laura Ingalls, played by Melissa Gilbert, sees the prairie for the first time. The camera work is stunning, with sweeping shots of the vast, open landscape. The performance from Melissa Gilbert is also noteworthy as she captures Laura's awe and wonder perfectly. Another memorable scene is in season two, where Marion Gulls, played by Melissa Sue Anderson, goes blind. The direction, performance, and cinematography all come together to create a powerful and emotional moment. The scene is shot in a way that highlights Mary's fear and confusion, with the camera often focusing on her blank and unseeing eyes. The performance from Melissa Sue Anderson is heart-wrenching as she conveys Mary's sense of loss and despair. In season three, there's a scene where Charles and Gulls, played by Michael Landon, sings the Lord's Prayer at a church service. The performance is simple, yet powerful, and it showcases Landon's talent as both an actor and a singer. The cinematography is also striking, with the camera focusing on the faces of the townspeople as they listen to Charles sing. These scenes have had a significant impact on the audience as they encapsulate the themes of the show and highlight the talents of the cast and crew. The show's creator, Michael Landon, once said that he wanted to create a show that would make a difference in people's lives. With scenes like these, it's clear that he succeeded. The show's cinematographer, Ted Voigtlander, spoke about the importance of capturing the beauty of the prairie, saying, we wanted to show the vastness of the landscape and the smallness of the people within it. This is evident in the show's many outdoor scenes, which often feature sweeping shots of the prairie and the town. The cast members also speak highly of their experiences on the show. Melissa Gilbert, who played Laura, said that working on the show was a dream come true, and that she learned a lot from Michael Landon, who directed many episodes. Overall, the iconic scenes from Little House on the Prairie are a testament to the show's enduring popularity and impact. Through powerful performances, stunning cinematography, and thoughtful direction, the show continues to resonate with audiences today. Little House on the Prairie, a 1974 TV series, left a significant cultural and social impact. It resonated with audiences through its heartwarming portrayal of family values, hard work, and perseverance in the face of adversity. Set in the 1800s American frontier, 
The show struck a chord with middle-class families, inspiring nostalgia for simpler times, and showcasing the importance of community. This led to a surge in interest in prairie-style living and homemade crafts, influencing pop culture and fashion trends. Moreover, the series contributed to discussions on relevant social and cultural themes. It addressed issues like racism, poverty, and women's rights, promoting understanding and empathy among its viewers. The characters' struggles and triumphs served as lessons for navigating complex social dynamics, making the show relatable despite its historical setting. By presenting these themes in an engaging and family-friendly manner, Little House on the Prairie encouraged viewers to reflect on their own values and engage in conversations about important social issues. The series' enduring popularity and influence on modern storytelling attests to its cultural significance. I wouldn't go too fast. We haven't eaten sleepy yet. Oh, come now, Charles. You've seen Jebediah Pitch. He's all we've ever needed. Uh. Little House on the Prairie, the 1974 TV series, received positive critical reception and had a strong connection with its audience. The show was praised for its family-friendly themes, strong storytelling, and high production values. Michael Landon, who starred in and directed many episodes, was particularly celebrated for his performance and creative direction. The series was based on Laura Ingalls Wilder's beloved Little House book series, and it resonated with audiences of all ages. It became a staple of family viewing and was praised for its portrayal of life in rural America during the late 19th century. The show's ability to tackle complex issues, such as poverty, racism, and disability, while maintaining a sense of optimism and hope was also noted by critics. Little House on the Prairie received several award nominations during its run. Michael Landon was nominated for three Emmy Awards for his performance and directing, and Melissa Gilbert, who played Lauren Galls, was nominated for a Golden Globe Award for Best Actress in a Television Series Drama. The show was also nominated for several other awards, including a Humanitas Prize and a Young Artist Award. These accolades are a testament to the hard work and dedication of everyone involved in the production of Little House on the Prairie. They recognize the show's high quality, strong storytelling, and enduring appeal. The awards and nominations also serve as a reminder of the impact that Little House on the Prairie had on television and on the lives of its many fans. The series remains a beloved classic, and its legacy continues to inspire and entertain new generations of viewers. Everything. They keep telling you you didn't see anything. What's wrong with pretending they're right? They're not. During the filming of Little House on the Prairie, the young actress Melissa Gilbert, who played Laura Ingalls, formed a close bond with Michael Landon, who played her father, Charles Ingalls. Landon became a mentor to Gilbert, guiding her through the challenges of acting and growing up in the spotlight. In one episode, Landon helped Gilbert overcome her fear of a scene that required her to jump off a moving wagon. He spent hours rehearsing the scene with her, reassuring her, and holding her hand until she felt confident enough to do it alone. The relationship between Gilbert and Landon was not the only close one on set. The cast and crew became like a family, spending long hours together and supporting each other through personal and professional challenges. Melissa Sue Anderson, who played Marion Gulls, recalled in her memoir how the cast would often gather in Landon's trailer to eat, laugh, and share stories. Despite the idyllic setting and warm relationships, filming Little House on the Prairie was not without its difficulties. The weather conditions in Simi Valley, California, where the show was filmed, could be harsh and unpredictable. The cast and crew often had to deal with extreme heat, cold, and wind. In one episode, the wind was so strong that it blew over a set, forcing the production team to rebuild it. Another challenge was the accuracy of the historical details. The show's creators wanted to ensure that the sets, costumes, and props were as authentic as possible. They consulted with historians, visited museums, and studied old photographs to create a realistic portrayal of life in the 1800s. However, they also had to balance historical accuracy with the needs of storytelling and entertainment. For example, they simplified some of the language and omitted certain aspects of frontier life that might be too graphic or disturbing for a family audience. Despite these challenges, Little House on the Prairie became a beloved and enduring classic. The show's themes of family, community, and perseverance resonated with audiences around the world, and its impact transcended generations. 
the cast and crew's dedication to creating a high quality and authentic show, as well as their warm and supportive relationships contributed to its success and legacy. Two of them. The 1974 TV series Little House on the Prairie, based on Laura Ingalls Wilder's books, holds a significant place in film history. It stood out for its family-friendly storytelling and exploration of life in rural America during the late 1800s. The show's emphasis on values, community, and resilience in the face of adversity has made it a timeless classic. Little House on the Prairie paved the way for future family-oriented television series and movies. Its success demonstrated that wholesome, character-driven stories could captivate audiences and leave a lasting impact. The show's influence can be seen in various productions that followed, such as The Waltons and Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman. The series also inspired numerous adaptations and spin-offs. For example, the 25 TV movie Beyond the Prairie followed the characters into adulthood, and the 1974 series led to the animated show Laura Ingalls Wilder's Little House on the Prairie in 1975. Additionally, the Little House book series remains popular, with new adaptations still being produced. In summary, Little House on the Prairie has left a lasting legacy in film history through its impact on future filmmaking and the inspiration it has provided for subsequent works. Its themes of family, community, and perseverance continue to resonate with audiences today. If the 1974 TV series Little House on the Prairie holds a special place in your heart, we'd love to hear from you. Share your memories and experiences related to this classic show. How did it impact you personally or influence your perspective on cinema? Your engagement is vital. Like, share, and subscribe for more explorations into the world of cinema. We're excited to learn how this series has left its mark on you and how it has endured in your heart and minds. Remember, there's no need for fancy words or complex phrases. Just tell us your story and how this show has become a part of your own personal narrative. We can't wait to hear from you.